I love going out to eat. You sit down, look at a menu, and someone brings you exactly what you want. Yeah, wouldn't it be great if every time we wanted to eat it was this easy? No work, no cooking, just one, two, three. There it is. Totally. Like this plant. Plants don't have to do anything to eat. They just sit there in the sun, wait for us to water them, and grow. Wait a minute. What about photosynthesis? What? Photosynthesis. The process green plants use to make food. They have a process? I thought they just, well, ate water. <laughs> Not quite. They need the water, no doubt. But plants use the energy from the sun to turn water and carbon dioxide into food. Kind of like a recipe? Exactly. To make food, green plants like this one use energy from the sun to combine water and carbon dioxide and make sugar and oxygen. They eat the sugar and release the oxygen. Okay, I'll admit that does sound like more work than just ordering off a menu. Here, there are four main ingredients in the recipe for photosynthesis. Water, sunlight, carbon dioxide, and chlorophyll. All right, chef. I'm writing this down. We both know where plants get water, the first ingredient. Either it rains or we water the plants. Right. The plant uses its roots to drink the water up into its leaves. Veins throughout the leaves carry water to all of the plant cells. But not only does the plant drink, it absorbs carbon dioxide, too. At the bottom of each leaf are tiny holes called stomata, surrounded by guard cells. Stomata are sort of like the nostrils of the plant. The guard cells open and close the stomata so that the plant can absorb carbon dioxide from the air. Wow, a plant's job is harder than I thought. It's true. Now, so far, our plant has water and carbon dioxide. Once those two ingredients find their way to the chloroplasts, we're really cooking. Chloroplasts? Yeah. Chloroplasts are sort of like the plant's kitchen. Chloroplasts are where the plant stores chlorophyll and where photosynthesis takes place. The plant uses its chlorophyll to absorb sunlight. The chlorophyll uses the sun's energy to cook the water and the carbon dioxide. When the recipe of photosynthesis is complete, the plant has made sugar and oxygen. Wow. And that's the oxygen in the air we breathe? Right. Huh. Photosynthesis is way cooler than ordering food off a menu. Photosynthesis is one of the coolest processes scientists know about. So, plants use photosynthesis to turn sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide into sugar and oxygen. The oxygen is used by other living things. And for us, that's quite the breath of fresh air. Sounds like you're singing a different song now that you know plants don't have it as easy as you thought. That's for sure. Photosynthesis sounds like hard work. It does, and you know what? What? Plants do all that work, and they still don't get to eat spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs>